top of the morning, top of the evening, wherever it is that you are in this world, my friends. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Coming at you guys, it is like 6 p.m. I know it's a late start. It's a late start and that happens. But watch, we're about to change from red color to a normal skin color. Isn't it amazing how that just happens? The power of going from your basement to the kitchen and then turning stopping the camera and then turning it back on. That's what happens, my friends. That's just what happens. Uh, it's a little bit of a late start. I've been working on a bunch of stuff and I was like, yeah, you guys don't need to see computer stuff. That's boring, that's boring. Gonna go hit the gym. Gonna do a little bit of chest today. Got hooked up by my friends at Super Training with some, some gear, some hoodies. Uh, they also sent me some Keto Pro Mixture. Very tasty. Um, I do because I'm very open about it. I wish the co fat content was just a little bit higher on there, just because uh, that's just how I always like my keto stuff. But other than that, great product. Um, I'm going to mix up some pre-workout. You know what it's gonna be. Some Goku Gains. We're gonna put some Goku Gains into the bloodstream. And it's hiding. It's always hiding. There it is, there it is. I'm gonna put some Goku Gains into my bloodstream and then get some lift on. Truthfully, I, I, feel, I feel better. I feel my strength is getting back to where it should be in order to hit that 700. Um, I am doing a lot of work outside of deadlifts, strengthening my back, my legs. That is inevitably gonna make me a way better deadlifter. Uh, sometimes I, I focused a little bit too much on deads and that's all I was doing and so it's like, Yes, that works your legs, your back, your traps, everything, but if you focus on a bunch of exercises that, you know, supplement it, then you get stronger. So I've been doing that, uh, did some really heavy back pulls uh, yesterday and that felt awesome, wide grip, close grip, and uh, definitely, definitely felt good. I'll insert some clips uh, right now. So yeah, let's toss the scoop right in there and head to the unit. All right, time for some flat bench. This is actually gonna be my first time using my new flat bench. If you guys watched the, the Road to 700 episode one, I picked up all of these plates, you know, uh, 700 and whatever pounds worth of plates, but I also picked up this bench and it is a lot wider than my other bench, which is right here. So you can see like here, there, see my hand? See my hand, this is fully you know, spread as wide as I possibly can. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna spread my hand as wide as possible. You guys see the difference? It makes a massive difference when your shoulders are on there. Because when your shoulders like, I I'm a wider person. I'm, I guess I'm kind of wide. I'm not super wide, but I'm a wider person than the average Joe. So when I'm doing bench and my shoulders are kind of like off the bench, you lose a lot of power and you also can get really, you can get injured that way, you know, if you're not exactly positioned well and uh, you start like favoring one side rather than the other, it just, you lose a lot of power. You lose a lot of power, that's the big thing. That's the big thing. And so I'm hoping that uh, my bench here is going to be spot on. It should be, it should, should feel good. Um, definitely gonna be wrapping the wrist. I still feel pain, and I think this is gonna be something that I'm gonna feel for like the next year. So I'm gonna keep everything safe, wrap it up, wrap it up kids, and we're gonna get it done.
got that layer on. Getting warm in here. D for L, dedicated for life. That's how we roll on this channel. Let's do this. Is that cheesy? It's a little cheesy. It's a little cheesy. I, 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 work, I work on my, on my pocket here. You are cheesy. I like cheese. Yeah. Provolone cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap these shit up. I definitely wrap it really tight, especially my right one. That is the name of the game right now. And I feel like it just makes a world of a difference. It's just See how this feels. I, I generally like. I, I really want to hit four plates today, um, but I don't push it anymore. Well, I do push it, but I don't want to injure myself. So we're gonna see what three plates feels like. If I can rep out a bunch and it feels light, we'll step it up to like 365, and then obviously the four plate mark. So here we go. Yep, yep, yep. bench is like lined up with all of these um, lines here on the mats but if you look at the actual rack you can see it's moved it's not exactly the same distance from the wall as there and that happens when you're like you know squatting and you start putting too much force here when you're like re-racking and stuff so the whole rack needs to be moved once again happens like every few months but it really it just messed me up for this set it didn't feel as confident because i didn't know if i was balanced or not but still got a few reps up um yeah i'm gonna go for four oh let's do it folks four plates four plates it's just just because last time i did four plates it was uh assisted 
um, assisted, what's it called when somebody helps you take it off? Assisted, assisted, <laughs> assisted bench guy? I had a spotter. Spotter, yeah. Oh yeah, but you just help me take off the actual, uh, Cause usually like a lift off, lift off. I got a lift off, a lift off for the for the bench. But this time I won't get a lift off. Um, so this will be like a true wrap. I hope I can get it. That's that's the best I can say. Is I hope I can get it. D4L. Was that less cheesy than the the whole wristband thing? I think so. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Get the mouthpiece in right. And time to wrap this wrist. Like real tight, real real tight. All right. Ah! Ah! Screaming helps. Try it one time, especially if you're in a public gym. People will really respect you. I guarantee it. <laughs> ah! What? Right. This time, I'm gonna make sure I look. I'm on the right angle. catch this thing. You know what also is happening? This light right above me is on a different angle than my bench and then my bar right here and so I'm thinking that I'm He's off angle, off center and it's really messy with my mind. But that felt good. Apart from hitting it, I mean there were still two clean reps apart from hitting it, right? So I definitely didn't mean to do that pause rep right there. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, not today, cause I'm, I'm lazy and I'm tired, but I'm going to take off all these weights and I'm gonna move this rack. Cause that light, that light up there is evil. It's evil. It totally just messes with your head. It messed with me again. I went down and <laughs> that pause rep was not supposed to happen. But competition style, that would have actually, I'm pretty sure that would have counted. I think it would have counted because I went all the way down and I paused. I totally just like deloaded. <laughs> not in a good way. Like just, it just, it, like that was not planned whatsoever. And I don't like doing reps that aren't planned. That wasn't planned. Still went up. Didn't hurt myself. And I'm, but I'm pretty sure my safety bars would not have helped me out there. That was, that was a really good indicator my safety bars wouldn't have helped me out. I need to put them up one level up, and then I think they would. It's getting colder, getting colder in the gym. That means not working hard enough, time to step it up. Guys, 
that was fucking scary. That's all I'm gonna say. That was fucking scary. Guys, what happened was this entire piece flew off and it just shot past my head. If that landed on my head, that could've been really bad. Like, really bad. Yeah, you have massive bruise on your face. I could, I could've, like, you know, do you know how heavy these things are? These things weigh, like, more. Okay, at least 10 pounds. So imagine a dumbbell, but with edges like this, and, and, and like, screws, and, and bolts, and everything, landing straight on your head. Or like, in your eye. Yeah, you're imagining it right now, and you're like, fuck. That's what I'm thinking right now, and I'm not, I'm not too happy right now. Like, I feel like I was pretty controlled there, but like. I mean, if I wasn't here, let's say you had more weight on there. Yeah. But you couldn't rep out like that you. Well, I'd be able to, I, like, I had no clips on the actual bar, so I'd be able to take the weights off. That's like, that's what I, that's an important thing to do, guys. Um, sometimes I would put clips on and everything like that, but lately I've learned that, especially if I'm benching alone, uh, no spot or no nothing, I definitely rip off the clip, um, and so that, one, you're supposed to be balanced anyways, but like if you go down, you can't take it off, you just slide to one side, all the plates will fall, fall off, and then to the other side, right? But that was, I'm kind of like, now I'm gonna be paranoid as hell. That's what's gonna happen every time I'm benching here. I'm gonna be paranoid as hell. And I think the big factor is this light, right above. That's the big factor, so that needs to get fixed because I'm going to just be paranoid as hell working out here from now on until everything is perfectly done and exactly the way it should be. Yo, what up, bro? What up? High five. Wapka? Oh, yeah. Wapka, wapka. Good job. Wapka? Give me another Wapka. Wapka, Wapka. Wapka, come on. What is this? Come on, show the people you, you know what to do. Ah, yeah. Give me the, give me the other one. Give me the other one. Give me the other one. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Every dog understands everything where there's food involved. Right? All right, dude, I'm gonna go get us some food, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna get some food. I'll be back, okay, I promise. Here's, here's a bottle of Hennessy for now. Here you go. You can, you can just like nurse that until I come home, okay? Cool? That cool with you, bro? So I haven't been driving my truck lately. Um, it's kind of like become Melissa's truck. It's not that I don't like to drive it. I love driving it. In fact, I'm, I'm really enjoying this ride. Just went to get food, um, but I'm enjoying this ride. But I also can't drive my Mitsubishi because it's stick, so it's my car kind of thing. Just want to give us the flexibility to go around wherever we need to. Um, I am looking at a new vehicle, and uh, I just, I, well, one, need it for like accounting purposes for like taxes, right? So it's either, you know, your taxes go to the government or you spend it on leasing a vehicle of some sorts, right? And it's been like seven and a half years with the Mitsubishi, so. I kind of want to fix it up. I want to fix up that Mitsubishi, give it to my dad. My dad has a, a 14 year old car now and it's not becoming safe. Um, and so I want to fix it up because it is still in awesome condition. The kilometers are not high on it whatsoever. I want to fix it up and give that to the pops um, and give them a safer car and then get myself a, a half decent car. And I'm kind of just thinking of what? It's gotta be, it's gonna be a sedan four doors, um, not a truck, because we have a truck, right? So when I need a truck, get a truck. I want a car that you can get into the city, you can park wherever. So let me know in the comments, maybe you guys can help us out, uh, help me out. Uh, I'm gonna go for a bunch of like, driving tests and, you know, test drops. But I'm thinking about an Audi of some sorts. Um, heard lots of really good things. But maybe I'm closed in in a box and I don't know what to go for. So if you guys have suggestions, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think would be a good vehicle for Furious Pete, even though a truck is, a truck is really the, the good vehicle. We couldn't just have two trucks, that'd be weird. Or maybe we could. Maybe we should get another truck. <laughs> this is the meal that we got. We got some steak, we got some chicken in there, rice. All mixed up. Looks like a good amount of food. Yep. Gonna down that. 
Get them gains. Not for you, because I need gains, bro. I need to get stronger with the bench, with everything. Road to 500 coming up, right? Right? We'll talk about that later on, because I need to achieve the road to 700 first with deads, and then I can proceed with the road to 500 with bench, because everyone's been asking me to do that, so I might as well do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Short but fun little vlog. Furious, come here. We're gonna say bye to everyone. Furious, come here, come here. We're gonna say bye, we're gonna say bye. Like, Furious is gonna be polite today, and he's gonna be like, hey, bro. Just say goodnight, everybody, okay? Say woof woof. He just woke <laughs> up. He just woke up and he's like, guys, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wrap it up. Short but fun little vlog. Uh, almost died tonight. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> no, but incidents like that mess with your head. Like, you just become so paranoid. Like, I feel. I'm, I'm gonna be paranoid with bench for a little bit, especially in my gym. If I train somewhere else, it'll be different. But here, I'm just gonna remember incidences, and yeah, not good. Not good when that happens. Um, I'm not sure if that was, that could have easily been my fault. Maybe it's an equipment failure where that shouldn't happen. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I really am not. Um, nonetheless, I'm gonna have to be extremely careful um, and just keep on going. Feel good, feel strong, uh, diet is way better. I think I'm going to do another deadlift session, not a heavy one, um, and then after that, take some, take a few days off and then go for that heavy number once again. All right, anyways, I'm gonna call it a day, call it a night, thank you again for watching, hit that thumbs up on button, S -s -s smash that thumbs button, that like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Check out all my links in the description below. Get yourself some Goku gains, all that other stuff. Fierce peril, fierce wrist wraps, all that good stuff. Catch you guys later. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains and get laid. Boom.